What's going on you guys? As I promised in my previous video on episode number one, if you guys would drop 5 to 10 likes, I would be dropping more episodes, which means you guys are enjoying it. You guys enjoyed episode one, which is great because I have tons more of these videos to be uploading. So as long as you guys keep getting between 5 to 10 likes, I'll keep on dropping episodes until live 15. Oh, <laughs> did I say live 15? I mean until live 18 comes out. I don't know what I was thinking right there. So in episode number 2, I have Paul George, Russell Westbrook, the new teammates from OKC this year. I also still have Kevin Durant on this team, so I have all three of them. I also have Kevin Love. And off the bench, I have Yao Ming, Matsumbo, and many other good players. And early on in the game, my opponent had pretty much a double-digit lead. So throughout the game, we've been trying to cut into it. As you guys can see right there, the score was 23-16 to 16 after that quick three-pointer by our squad. And we get a steal with Westbrook. We're pushing the basketball. Westbrook from PG with the and one. I'm pretty sure we'll be seeing a lot of those in OKC this year. And speaking of Paul George, he knocks down a triple. So now we're only down by four points. We got Westbrook to George, wide open on the wing. They are creating offense for each other, much like Westbrook and Durant were creating for each other back in the day. I say back in the day as if it was super long time ago, but it was just a year ago. <laughs> Paul George for three, and he rims it out. My opponent is going to try and take advantage. He's going to go on the break and make a fast break layup. Those are the types of threes we cannot miss in this game if we want to win. But luckily for us, Westbrook has been going off in this game. By the way, what do you guys think of this Orlando Magic jersey? In my opinion, I think it is one of the best retro jerseys. Every time I have the option to buy this type of jersey from the Orlando Magic or to use it, most of the time I always take it. I really love the black and how it's designed. But I think that's just my opinion, but I think a lot of people would agree with me. And look at Dikembe Matsumbo. <laughs> Dikembe Matsumbo with some crazy blocks right here. Off the bench, I had Matsumbo and Yao Ming. I called them the Twin Towers. Because back in NBA 2K9, I would run the cheesiest lineup with the Houston Rockets. Back when I was a cheeser. I don't know if I, I still am now, but I know in 2K9, all I did was play online ranked games to get into the top 5. Because on 2K9, there's a leaderboard, and in the top 5, it shows your avatar pictures to all the 2K players. So that's something I wanted to do. In order to get that, you'd have to have a very good winning percentage or play a high amount of games. And that year, I think I had between 1,000 to 2,000 games, I think 1,500. And if you can get to do that, you get to be in the top 5 and that is something I always wanted to do. Because if there's an opportunity to showcase your gamer tag and avatar in the top 5 in the world, why not chase it? So that is what I tried to do on 2K9 and that's what <laughs> this team that I have off the bench reminds me of. With Yao Ming and Dikembe Matumbo on that Houston Rockets team, I would run Matumbo at the center position. Yao Ming at the power forward position, and I would have Ron Artest at small forward position, Shane Battier at shooting guard, and Tracy McGrady at the point guard position, and I would play a 1-3-1 zone and just cheese out of it, <laughs> cheese the whole game on defense and on offense. I would just be spinning with McGrady, dishing out for threes, giving it to Yao inside or dunking it with McGrady, and on the defensive side, that team is pretty beast, you could imagine. <laughs> So yeah, this team that I have off the bench on NBA Live 16, which is what you're watching right now, it reminded me of those good old times. If you guys remember those 2K9 days online, those ranked games with the avatar and profile pictures and everything, let me know in the comment section if you guys had any great moments or funny moments that you guys want to share. I'd love to read it. But I will be going back into the gameplay right now. I'll stop bothering guys <laughs> with my memories on 2K9. So right now we are up by 6 points heading into the 4th quarter after we were down most of the game. 
We played some great defense, executed properly, got some nice blocks. Get that out of here, boy! That is some cheesy defense with Yao Ming on the tumble. Look at that, another block. <laughs> it's just hilarious watching Yao on the tumble try to block everything. Oh my goodness, <laughs> try it. If you ever have a chance to have Yao and Matumbo on the same team, put them both at the same time and have them clog the paint. It will be hilarious. So with two minutes left in the fourth quarter, he's trying to mount a comeback, but Kawhi Leonard is coming in to the block party. He's learning from Yao and Matumbo. A great defensive team I have in the fourth quarter, but he finally scores. So we're only up by four. It is still a close basketball game. I still need to execute, even though we're having fun on the defensive side. Beautiful ball movement into Dwight Howard. So down by six, he shoots a three with Klay Thompson in my face. And now it's only a one possession basketball game. I'm gonna try to run a screen and roll once again. Move the basketball around, he gets a steal. John Wall goes all the way. Nice defense by Westbrook and Paul. George, we have a chance to seal the basketball game. We're gonna find Kevin Durant wide open. He drops the dagger. So the game is now over. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like. Like I said in my previous video, if I could get between five to 10 likes or even more, that would be awesome. Shows that you guys are enjoying these videos and I'll drop the next episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.